But if you avoid the bullshit lie and just tell them the truth, all right? For instance, a lot of times you hear police and feds go, oh, go make a Molotov cocktail. Somebody be like, oh, okay, because people get upset and they go with what they want when they go with emotion. And they'll say, okay, I'll make you bomb, and they get arrested. <laughs> Don't do that. If I'm walking down the street, I'll tell you exactly what I do. Say I'm walking down the street for one of these protests, and I do this in New York all the time, and this is why they either let me go or have to let me go, because I don't bullshit them. If I'm walking down the street from one of these protests, and a federal van pulls up, and 10 feds come out, scoop me up, throw me in a van, beat my ass on the way to the station house, drop me in the station house, tie me up and put me on a chair and say, would you make a Molotov cocktail? You know what I would tell them? In self-defense, to defend myself, to defend my family, to defend your family? Yes, I would, because it wouldn't be a crime. It'd be an act of self-defense. Is that terrorism? No. It's an act of self-defense. Their major weapon against you is to make you afraid of telling the truth. Do you understand? Their major weapon against you is to say, oh, no, I would never make a bomb. They're going to be like, well, why wouldn't you? They try to coax it out of you. You know what you say? You have an army for a reason. Obviously, your government knows there's a reason to make a bomb in self-defense. Do you look at them and say, if I made a bomb, do you think I'm a terrorist or do you think I would be acting in self-defense? It's a fucking common A or B answer. It's common fucking sense. I'm not saying go out there and tell a fed, I'd make a bomb and kill somebody. No. That's terrorism. But would you tell a cop if they asked you that, would you ever make a hand grenade? You tell a cop to his face in this language, motherfucker, if somebody came at me and I needed a hand grenade, that motherfucker would be a problem because I would defend myself. Hey. It's plain and simple. And that's just the way it is. Those guys got entrapped because those people use fear against them. You can't let people use fear against you. You have to come forward with the truth. That's why it says in the Bible, in Proverbs, this honest people run like cowards when nobody's chasing them, but an honest person is strong like a lion. That's all it is. Yeah! I kind of gave me that, that lecture this morning. Hell yeah! Well, you you So what's up, man? Guess NATO you... leaders. Hey, buddy. This buddy. is my message to you, NATO leaders. You're worms. You are not important. In my world, you're a fucking roach under my shoe. All you NATO leaders, I laugh in your face. The reason why you NATO leaders want to go fight people is because you never had a president who was like, thought like me and said, okay, let's fight. Let's fight some real guerrilla warfare. And I went asymmetric on that ass. You wouldn't be talking shit. You'd be here like in Kruma, can I have my land back? You're soft. You've killed a lot of people that don't think like me. If I was on the battlefield and you met me, you know what i do? I would capture you and I would torture you. No, I'm not a terrorist. I don't like terrorism. Terrorism is horrible. It kills innocent people. I wouldn't commit any acts. You know what I would need? A slingshot and a fork. That's how tough you guys are. A slingshot and a fucking fork. I don't know. Somebody was just talking. All right? I'd use a slingshot to, to incapacitate you. Then I, you know, then I'd be eating macaroni and cheese and be like, this could be you, and you start crying because you're wusses. You're a bunch of sissies. The truth is, I know what your dirty plan is. It's to starve the people, then come and napalm the area, and then start all over. But your plans won't work. And why am I showing you my face? Is this live streaming? No. Are you going back to New York? Yeah, New Hampshire, yeah. Before you put this on the internet. I need to make sure that certain things are seen by certain people in case something happens to me. So don't put it up on the internet until we go through. Yeah, it'll probably be like a week. All right. So what's your name? You're from New York, right? Can't give the name just yet. Okay. But yeah, I know you're probably thinking you're tough. You ain't me. I'm not tough, but I'm tougher than you. So between the two of us, you ain't me. 
You ain't scaring me, I ain't scared of you. Fuck with me, come on. Fuck with me, come after me. I'll beat your ass. I'll beat you until you scream, mop, mop, get him off me. Not worried about you. You're a paper tiger. You're punks. You kill women and children when they're sleeping. Come get me. That's my little challenge to you. If you don't like what I'm saying, if something I've said has offended you, NATO, come on. Come try to run through my fucking front door. I'll stick a fucking fork in you. You're a pussy. I didn't say anything wrong. I just said if you came at me, I would defend myself. I would take a shrimp fork and I'd put it in you. That's the type of person I am. I'm a lot more volatile than you. What the fuck is going on? Dude, what's happening over here? Huh? How you help me do? The chalking. It's awesome. It's like the invasion of Poland. Back into the park. Can you believe we're living in this shit? Rather scary, isn't it? It's too yeah. fucking bad. Military force right here. Yeah. You know, I'm a nice guy, so like whatever they say about me is a lie. I'm swell. I'm a great person. Can we cross that way? Oh yeah, go ahead, brother. Have some fun. We're crossing the street. Those are some pretty fucking cool ass goggles, dude. Oh, thanks. I gotta get me a pair of those things. Now, you see them goggles? That's a chick magnet. Hold up. Gentlemen at home, if you don't have goggles like that, you'll never get fucking women. Get them shit. They're like a brand new pair of Nikes. Oh, like woodworking ones? Yeah, if you ain't got them goggles, look at that. If you don't got goggles like that, your game is shitty. I want you to know that. You talking about you look good, they be like, have you ever seen your eyes before? Okay? It is not a freaking lie. Come on, be it for me to lie. I'm not like I'm tied up and like, you know, like, like, have those three to have to be able to see the They're like, you know what? You're gonna let this hit you. Keep up a steady pace. I'm not a fast runner, but I'm a crafty walker. You know, like that cripple that always ends up in the front of the marathon? Like, how the fuck? Everybody's like, oh, look, they beat the white guy, too. Yeah. Yep, yo, yep. you know which way to find your Adam? Uh, you looking for the train station? Going that way. All right. <laughs> 
So we don't go this way, follow me. Gotta keep up, gotta keep up. Oh, there's actually people here. They didn't scare everyone away from up here. They got undercover. This is a nice fucking city. on the south. I don't know. Yeah, if I know. Five, six, 
Six, seven, eight. And I am now out of batteries. Yeah, just ran. Right around the corner. Do you need to leave?